three great tips in Escape from Tarkov. Since I've gotten access to Tarkov Arena, I've been playing it nonstop. With that said, I've got three great tips that you need to know on day one. Even so, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about a brand new mechanic that folks do not know about, and it is awesome. Number one, the STM-9. The STM-9 is absolutely insane right now in Arena, and it's easily the weapon that's killed me the most. With that said, as tempting as it is, do not use this weapon. I say that because while the STM-9 will get you kills, it doesn't level up any of your progress in the class trees. In Arena, there are essentially four different classes that you're going to need to level up. The game's gonna give you access to beginner kits, but to access the meta kits at the bottom of the tree, you're gonna have to level up each of the characters. So while using the STM-9 with AP 6.3 may seem like fun, by using this weapon, you're only hurting yourself in the long run. Number two, attachments. So since we're talking about individual classes, let's talk about the attachments that come on each of the pre-made loadouts. Just because a gun comes with attachments, doesn't necessarily mean that you need to use that attachment. That's an important distinction to know because some of these attachments make the gun significantly more difficult to use. A great example of what I'm talking about is the OPSKS. So if you're wanting to level up the assault class, this is probably the first gun that you're going to use. So just like in EFT, the OPSKS comes with a rear sight that obstructs half of your iron sight. So each round, if you just remove that rear sight, you'll have a much cleaner iron sight. The same sort of thing happens in the marksman class with the hunter Vepper. While that scope can have its place, I have found that I have been far more successful with just using the iron sights. Number three, scoreboards. Gathering information is a key element in arena, and without it, do not expect to be successful. So if you're only queuing up as a solo or a duo, chances are you're going to go against a five stack, which already puts you at a disadvantage. So to counter that, we need to gather as much intel as we can possibly gather. And some of the easiest intel is knowing how many players are alive on each team. Now I'll admit, it took me several raids to figure this out, but once I did, it made a huge difference in my gameplay. On each of the locations, there's a scoreboard that has five lights for blue, and five lights for red. So now that you know that this exists, it's actually really easy to find the scoreboard on each of the locations. Bonus tip, the radio. As we talked about in the beginning, there is a new mechanic in Tarkov, and that is the radio. So in Arena, instead of using VoIP, you can now use a radio to directly communicate with only your team. While VoIP can be helpful, it not only lets the enemy team know exactly where you're at, but they can hear your entire conversation. So instead of using VoIP, use the radio hotkey J. This will allow you to communicate directly with your teammates without the enemy team hearing it. All right, gang, I'll see you in raid. Love y'all.